Yo, welcome fronies to the first video of the Upgrade Madness series, so enjoy. Yesterday, in a really intense bit war, I was able to finally secure a Phantom Mask in the guild. And this is the good thing, and now we do want to upgrade it all the way to max. So the first thing we do want to do is fix the traits. We have sadly gotten mana regen on the mask. And if we go here to trait list, what we do want to have is range evasion, magic evasion, and cooldown speed. So the first thing is we want to reroll the stat that we already have, and we want to do that first, because if we are doing this with the trait conversion stones, we are having a 60% chance to actually hit. And we got range endurance, that means we have to do it again. And we got range evasion, that is enough. Okay, nice. Then the next ones, we can unlock them because I have farmed 100 of the stones. If you don't know how to farm the stones, um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel because I will be releasing a trade unlock stone farm guide soon. Again, we are picking cooldown speed. And for the hour one, we are picking magic evasion. The reason why I'm doing that with the stones is actually the fact that <laughs> it's like really expensive to buy those traits to unlock them on the mask. And as you can see right here, I am coming prepared. We have lots of gear ready. And as a little goodie, because when we are having a phantom mask, we also want to have the phantom effect of the set. We're also going to max out the phantom wolf creatures as well. Here I was lucky enough to roll it with a decent stat right away. So next up, what we want to do is we want to upgrade the mask. Don't worry, we do have enough materials. Just gonna go and use our free resources first and then we're gonna go into the crafting because holy shit, we farm lots of them. So you can see right here, like we can craft 200 pieces like this right away. And here we are not even talking about the low level stuff that you get from the contracts. You see right here we can craft 1000 of these. Which is giving us another 200 precious growth stone. And yes, you can see this is why I'm always saying Solon is so important. That just cost 13 million in Solon. So make sure to always have your Solon food running. Back to the level up. We do want to get this now all the way to rank 7 and 30%. Last time I was an idiot and I kept that check. This time I'm going to uncheck it. We're going to do 1. It's exactly at 30%. This is perfect. And now when we're doing the transfer, we first have to unequip our item. Always make sure to lock your items to not accidentally do a mistake. And now we can actually pump that in there and it will instantly get us to level 9. And it did not. Oh, I guess we're gonna have to roll one more time. Maybe it's 7.33 then. Okay, and next up is gonna be the trade leveling. For the trade leveling, of course, the purple ones, now they are instant. So we're going to pop those first. I think I have one range and one magic evasion. And then the rest here is actually going to be a 10% success chance, but we have enough blessings to get two guaranteed ones. We already have the cooldown runs ready. And here we are also going to be using the blessing because this is by far the most expensive trade that you can buy for them. Sorry to interrupt, but short self-promotion is needed. Currently, 91.2% of the people watching the videos are not subscribed to the channel. So let's make a deal. If you learn something new in this video, you have to subscribe. And maybe we will also get lucky you know, and hit something. And while we are putting them in there, we do want to stack up blessings again to hit the cooldown speed right away. This is the strategy right here. 
Okay, those were all the resources that we had from the open world dungeons. Um, here we can put in two more. We do want to have one as backup to get the 100%. Maybe we are also getting lucky and this is not the case. So now what you want to do, we want to buy blue extracts for range evasion and magic evasion for helmet in the auction house. This is going to be the cheapest way to level them. Because they're probably going to be only 10 lucent. So you will go to filter, rare, find trade. You go for range evasion, select armor, apply, go to head. And basically everything you're buying here you can now put onto your item. But only 10 lucent. So like this is extremely cheap. Um, everyone can do this. There's no ex reason to not have your evasion uh, maxed on your on your gear once you have it unlocked. It's just ridiculously cheap. We're just gonna buy a couple, then let's see what we are getting. We are also getting a lucky hit once in a while. Usually every 10 tries you should get like a regular natural upgrade. Here we can use our blessing again for 100%. So that strategy right here. You see there was like 60 Lucent besides the farm. One cooldown speed um, trade. A purple one is about 300-ish. So um, good that we got that that way. So now we're gonna go and buy more range evasion. And we got the natural upgrade, nice. Now we're gonna go and switch to magic. Okay, now our blessing is all the way down. I will go for one more lucky hit. And we got it. Nice. So now range evasion. Our blessing is all the way to zero. So it's probably going to be better to buy a purple here. So let's change that to epic. And get into range. And we need head. You see here 88. This is going to be cheaper without having to stack the full blessing and getting the lucky hit. Yeah, and this is how you quickly upgrade a item to max. And doing that with like, you see here we still have over 8k Lucent, it was almost for free. And now, next up, we're doing that again, but this time with the Phantom Wolf creatures. Here it's different, cause here we do not want to use the stones, cause those are actually fairly cheap um, to buy. The extracts so here we're gonna buy the health and the magic evasion just as an extract to normal and now that we have everything unlocked we are basically doing the same shenanigans as we just did and we can also go to the auction house and do it with the purchases as usual but of course we first want to upgrade it this time we are doing 7.33 percent not 7.3 
and we are going to remember to uncheck that again. So we're doing one more here. So when we are at the transfer this time, it finally should get it to 9. Holy shit, it did. Now we do have to trade it up still. Here, I did get a bit more lucky. I think I got two purple uh, um, pants already dropped with range evasion, so that upgrade for here is going to be quite cheap. For the magic evasion here, we only have blue ones. Um, I did not check the prices beforehand yet, so let's go to the auction house and trade myself where one more supply and we need legs okay so they cost 20 here evasion 10 range evasion also 10 so we want to use our blessings onto the health one while we are upgrading Okay, okay, we've had lots of them there before not getting any success. Here we can use the blessing. Oh, we got a natural upgrade, nice. And we have enough blessing again for the health. So, auction house, what health, apply. And we are at legs. Oh, someone just then one in for 14. We're gonna take the five lucent that we spent for sure. Next health. Okay, so now. Oh, okay, right away. Let's see what it costs when you do it regularly without having to purchase, because maybe it's under 100. 140. So it will be better to do it individually. Oh fuck, did I just buy buy helmets instead of boots, instead of um, legs. I hate it that it doesn't stay where I want it to stay. It's so annoying. We are also not lucky at all, no? we only got a couple, okay there is one, now we bought two too many, no range evasion, and we have to switch the legs again before I fuck it up. Okay, only one more, but we have to guarantee it. So on our blessing archer zero we got our new pants and we have unlocked our first set effect with bonus damage which is huge then we are also able to get um, 60 perception now with that upgrade for the additional hit chance it's going to be really strong for pvp and we can maintain our 50 decks and once we have upgraded the um, belt and the ring we got that we can also go to 60 decks yeah guys, I hope this video gave you an idea on how to go about upgrading your gear to make it the cheapest way. If you still have any questions, as always, ask in the comments. I will answer everything in less than 24 hours. Cheers guys.